Morning guys, absolutely beautiful morning this morning, just parked at the mouth near the bridge here, getting ready to go outside, I'm going to try some plastics today outside, I know every time I mention it the wind blows up and the conditions turn bad but hopefully we can have a crack on the plastics out there today, it'll be good and yeah I've, I've got a bigger setup. I might do a a troll or a live bait I'll work it out as I've got out there no bait today so I've only got jig heads and lures on board and soft plastics so hopefully we can crack a few good fish today it'd be nice all right and I will be doing my tackle talk at the end of the video to run you through everything I all the gear I use anyway through the episode all right I'm gonna rip in Gives the headland a fair bit of grace when you go around it. You don't want to get caught up in that break zone. You certainly would be in a bit of a trouble if you got your boat stuck in there. Quite a rough day today. We'll do our best. What am I going to use today? As I said, I'll give you the run through all the gear once I am um, the end of the episode. I'll show you a little flicks with the GoPro, but yeah, most of it I'll run through when I get back. That's amazing. First cast on the plastic. Absolutely got whaled. What have we got here? Oh, the Trevally again. Well, look at that. First cast of the plastic. Good size Trevally there. Getting up that 35 range. Oh, but I never kick the first fish, so we'll let that guy go. That was first cast. Absolutely amazing that was. First cast, bang, straight on. Fishing is insane at the moment. Anyway, hopefully we can get under these Trevally. I reckon that's where the bigger ones are going to be. Big snapper. Things feeding on the Trevally. Oh. 
nailed me on the sink there. Feels alright actually. Didn't feel too bad. the old-fashioned painted on technique. Yeah, I forgot it this morning, I'm spewing. <laughs> Buddy Pike. Stinky pike, good live bait for a mulloway, but not what I'm after. Bloody rock cod on the soft plastic, not what I expected at all. Certainly wasn't what I expected. Oh, oh, jeez around under the boat here. Might have just got my plastic though. Might have just got my plastic. And I've got one. And it's these Trevally. They're just millions of them. Same as I came out here the other week, but no bait this time, just doesn't make a difference. Plastics, bait, you'll get them. It's only tiny, this one, compared to the first one. Well, guys, I don't know what this is. This looks like a killer whale pack or something up here. Or is it a boat overturned? I don't know. We've got a big shark boy here, one of those drum lines. And then over here is all these fins sticking out of the water. I'm not sure what the hell they are. I don't know whether they're killer whales. I don't know what they are. This is bizarre. I'm going to try and sneak up on them because I don't know if they're going to go down when I go near them. What the hell is this? Z2 seal, sunbaking. Yeah, they might be two breeding seals here. They're fins. This is... I've never seen anything like this. Are they sunbaking seals? Are they killer whales? Nah, I think they're sunbaking seals. Let me zoom right in. 
what a monstrosity do you see in the water? It's very hard to work out. I'm going to try and go closer to them. But yeah, I think they're seals. I think they're seals just basking on the surface here. It's going to be interesting when I get close to see what they... Oh yeah, they're seals. How you going guys? Just catching the breeze. Now, with their fins sticking up like that, are they sailing? Is that what they're doing? They're catching the, the wind and sailing along? I think they are. I think they're actually sailing guys. And I am so close. This is an amazing experience. This is absolutely amazing. I am within a couple of meters now. And I think they're sailing with their fins out of the water, like a sailboat. This is bizarre. And, oh God, they're coming very close here. This is the best experience ever, guys. Wow. And look at them. They're just cruising. I wish I had some fish to feed them. This is really an amazing experience to be this close to wild animals. And look at the girth on them, Jesus. They're being gorgy. These are the ones being eaten in Lake Macquarie, I think. They have just been gorging themselves on everything. Flathead, salmon, just you name it. I've seen them eating like close to one meter flatheads near the bridge there, tearing them apart. But this is amazing. They're obviously a, a pair, this, I would assume. Either good mates or a pair. But, yeah. To me, it looks like they're just catching the, catching the breeze. Don't want to use their energy, so they're just sailing. What an amazing experience. Always something on the water. It's just worth getting out here, guys. It really is, because you just don't know what you're going to come across. You really don't know what you're going to see every day in the water. New experience for me. I've seen seals and whatever, but I've never seen them like this before. So it's, yeah, really good. Really good. I could just sit here all day watching these seals, I think, but... I want to go show you these drum lines and get your opinion on the drum lines also. And oh, wow, they're amazing, amazing animals, those seals. Even though they eat all our fish, you can't, they're just gorgeous. They're all part of the ecosystem, they keep things in check, so yeah, we need a bit of system. Look at that. Geez, that tricked me, but I, I really did think, wasn't sure what that was when I saw it from a distance. I thought it might have been a killer whale pack or something. Yeah, bizarre. Okay, look at these drum lines. What do you guys think about the drum lines? There's a few along here, there's a couple up there as well, right down there. But they've got the GPS trackers on them there. And I guess the theory is they hook the shark and then they drag them out 10 k's and then release them. I don't think the shark would stay 10 kilometers out to sea, I think he would swim straight back in, but that's the technique they got going at the moment. As I said, I think everything's part of the ecosystem, so everything has a place. I think you just need to be careful when you go in the water. What's your opinions on it anyway, guys? I know there's a lot of mixed opinions about this kind of thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go have a little adventure. Wouldn't read about it. Just on my way back into the heads here, 
going to see if there's a couple of silly salmon I can get on the way in. And there's another pack of seals here. Three of them this time, I think. Same deal, fins out of the water. It's either a sunbaking technique or it's, they catch the wind, I'm not sure. I think there's three here. Yeah, three seals over here. And what a spectacle. <laughs> they look like some type of shark with the fins out of the water so you get close. But yeah. They're just cruising, obviously have plenty to eat because they're not looking for food at the moment, they're just, just um, sunbaking really, that's all they're doing. That's it guys, another adventure done. Didn't do that well in the end, we got a couple of snapper, a couple of trevally, and that was about it, yeah pretty quiet day. I was home really early, back at the boat ramp, I think about 11, going out for lunch with the kids today, so yeah, it was just a quick one today, um, and I'll show you the gear I was using, I was using a 3 inch prawn in the gulp, and I end up swapping over to a little flick bait in the 4 inch, and just a 15 pound braid set up on 20 pound, 20 pound trace with a quarter ounce jig head, 3 -oh hook. Yeah, but it was good to get out there, always good to get out there, seeing the seals, did a little talk on the um, drum lines, it'd be good to get your opinion on that. And yeah, that's it, I'll see you guys next week. If you ain't fishing, you're wishing, and I'll see you on the water. Catches.